I'm Andrea Curry, independent designer and crafter, as well as host of Craftastic Live. If I haven't seen you there, you should probably get there soon. It's a fun, interactive experience n like none other. I swear, I promise you should really go and see it. It's a good time. <laughs> All right, but tonight I'm actually going to be showing you a quick and easy project that you can send off to your friends and families with a nice little holiday greetings message as well as something that they can stand up and be proud to put near their tree or even maybe on their tree. It is a tree itself. Oh my gosh, it's a tree. And really, it's just a very fun and simple tree that has a design that I actually downloaded from www.squigglefly.com. Amazing digital stamps there. Oh, so much fun. You download these things. You color them in with Copic markers, you have a good time, and it's just it's just really easy and amazing designers on that as well. Let's rock on over to Craft Cam. I'll show you what it looks like up close. It'll be really, really cute. I promise. Okay, so look at this is this is actually a design uh, that's in a whole series of little Christmas trees called Kaleidoscope Trees. This is on squigglefly.com. I downloaded this pattern. It has Oh, so many different designs, but I chose this one to color in and download because it just had this really fun retro feel. I actually use Sharpie markers, Bic markers, and my, my um, hefty Prismacolor markers to color in these digital stamps. Really, you're, you know, a lot of people talk about Copics, but this works out really nice. You can see the color actually blends really nice with what I, <laughs> with what I use, and you know what? You've got to use what you have. All I did was I downloaded the design, I put it into a Word document, and then I printed it out to the size that I actually wanted it to be. Super easy to do. I printed it onto cardstock. Then what I did is I traced it onto another piece of cardstock so that I had the back that could have my holiday greetings message on it. And then I added a special little stump here that helps this little guy stand up when uh, he's sent out and then everybody adores him because he's a cute little card that actually stands up and they can use it and easily store it for next year. And then you'll go over to their house and everybody will be like, oh, look at your little tree, it's still here. <laughs> Timeless, really. Okay, so what I did, basically, what I did is just make this little stump, this little stump mechanism is kind of like this W, you can see in here. It's a W, very easy to do. All I did was I halved a piece of eight and a half by 11 brown printer type of paper. You don't need a heavy cardstock for the stump. If you want to use it, you can. And then all I did was I just folded that in half. And then as that's folded in half, the peak is here. I just went to go fold again, but instead of folding in half over itself there, I actually went farther so that my fold is actually only about a half an inch. Now I'm doing this whole piece because I anticipate I'm going to be making a whole forest of trees here. I flip over and I just match that same fold, so just like so, there. And because it's a piece of printer paper, it actually just folds really nicely. You don't need a bone fold or anything like that. Now I have this kind of flying crazy W, right? This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Depending on the size of your tree, that's going to depend or that's going to gauge how large your little your little trunk is going to be. I called this a stump earlier. <laughs> a stump or a trunk, whatever you want to call it. I do mine about an inch for these smaller trees. The tree that I'm showing you tonight is about um, an A6 type of tree. That's an, if it's an A6 envelope. So I'll show you how that goes together. I have my two pieces. I, now here's another trick is when you download any designs or digital stamps and then you print them out and you color them in, here's a trick is that if you want to send out multiple cards or have multiples of the same color schemes, then just put it down on another piece of paper and then scan it and then it's perfect. It's like a perfect little photocopy onto some more cardstock so that you can cut that out and then continue the process. It's in like a perfect little little industry there you, you can do. Okay, so then as I showed you earlier, I had another piece that matches my back. It holds my nice little happy holidays message on it. I might even put a little picture of my dog Gracie, a little circle cut out picture of my dog Gracie on there. And then in between is sandwiched with our cute little trunky stump. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. All I did was take my little tape runner and then 
I just, on the top half inch, I gave it some tape. And then I place my tree right on there. Look at it. Looks perfect. It's like, oh, it's just a nice little tree. But no, it actually stands up. It gives a nice little message to everybody that you love them and you you uh, want them to decorate their home with a pretty kaleidoscope retro, totally represents your crafty prowess tree. You throw that down there like so. And then flip it on over. It's done. So easy. And then once they get it, they just spread out the little trunk like that and then it sits up just perfect and then just flat. Put it back into their little storage container and voila, it's the perfect little decoration slash holiday card. Who doesn't love that? Again, thanks to squigglefly.com for making me aware of these great digital downloadable stamps. A lot of fun. Go to andreacurrycrafts.com to learn more and direct links to these cute, cute digital stamps that I've been using in a lot of the videos that you've seen lately. Also go to andreacurrycrafts.com just to see what's going on. We have lots of stuff going on. Lots of crafts, lots of inspiration, and inspiring people as well. Just like you.